All right. Take take two. How is it going, everybody? Uh, if this we'll, shit happens again, I'm leaving and throwing my laptop. Just saying. Everyone hear that. You'll hear a loud crash, and you will not hear me ever again. Last so. week it was the microphone. This week it's the fucking laptop. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dave. Hi. I'm Ben, the technical issue person of this podcast, because God damn it, this shit won't work! This is the Worthless Ones podcast. Ben's, Ben's equipment is the Worthless Ones. Very, very fucking Walmart shit. <laughs> but how's everybody? Literally, I got these from Walmart. I don't, I don't doubt it. Anyways, how's everybody doing? How's everybody's week? It's been a good week. Yeah, pretty, uh, besides right now. Fuck this shit. But yeah, this this week's been pretty great if you're a big fan of movies and horror-themed things. See, Tuesday, we got the trailer for Scream 5. Which Scream, com- whichever one you want to consider it. Comes out in January. It's going to be awesome. It looks really good. It, it almost like almost like a reboot, but at the same time, it's like continuing the story from four. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So. Can't wait to see where Someone's it goes. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gotta die. No one's died from the main fucking four characters in the last. Well, I guess Randy died in the third one, so because he's eh, not the main character. I want to say Dewey dies. It's time for David Arquette to meet his fate. You can't kill David Arquette. Only David Arquette can kill David Arquette. That was his documentary. You can't kill David Arquette. <laughs> uh, anyways, Is other... The documentary? Yeah, about his wrestling. Uh, yeah, we're not uh, going to talk about that. Continue. It's fine. And also Tuesday, the series premiere of Chucky debuted... Good shit. That Good one, shit. Uh, that, that was a that was a very interesting first episode. I, I will say that. Yes, yes. If you guys didn't get to catch it, it is on YouTube. The first episode. I do recommend. And we're, we're reviewing it, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. See, you don't even gotta watch it unless you want to. You can come back to this. But I, you know. I, I would stop the video, go watch it, then come back. How about that? This is. <laughs> and Friday, which we haven't gone to sleep yet, so technically today, uh, Ice Nine Kills dropped their sec their new album, the Silver Scream Two, Welcome to Horrorwood, which is ah, Chef Kiss, delectable. Really, really good. Uh, I gotta say, like I like more songs now that I've listened to it again. Off this one, I think I did the first one. We'll be reviewing that as well. And also, yeah, what came out? Reviews. Also, uh, something came out that I remember Ben talking about at one point. Uh, mm-hmm. That I know what you did last summer. TV series on Amazon debuted. Oh, that came out today. Yeah. Holy shit! I, th- I thought that came out like later. Oh, okay. Sweet. You have to check that out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also, what can we review of that? No, we haven't watched it yet, and we haven't watched what I'm about to talk about. Uh, Halloween, oh, Halloween Kills come out today <laughs> in theaters and streaming on Peacock. Mm-hmm. I'm sure everyone is very upset with Peacock because all of their live services and whatnot seem to be really bad. I don't know. We're gonna test it out though, because I'm. I'm going to upgrade to premium so we can watch it. And I'm going to give Ben my login. So, Woo! come get me, Peacock. Don't really. He's only going to do it to watch this movie. And then I won't get on Peacock ever again, probably. <laughs> Indeed. So, other than that, how's your week been, sir? Uh, pretty good. I mean, you know... Been playing the uh, new Demon Slayer, uh, Kinsuyo. Fuck, I misspelled that entirely. Or said that. Holy shit, I can't talk. Uh, Hinokami Chronicles game. Beat it uh, actually this morning. Now I'm working on platinuming it because I am a weeb. 
I uh, don't know what it is. Anime, sir. Anime. Uh, that's yeah. why I don't know what it is. Connect with your inner weeb, Dave. You know it is true. I cannot. I'll make you do it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, before we forget, also something that came out today was season five of Big Mouth. The trailer. <laughs> yeah, well, the trailer for it came out. But, ooh, Big Mouth. If you like uh, Nick Kroll and Jordan Pell and What's the, other, what's the other guy's name? John Mulaney? Yeah, that guy. I don't know why I was going to call him. I guess because his character in the show is called Andrew. I was going to call him Andrew something. But yeah, so if no one's ever heard of it. It's about you know teenage kids going through puberty, learning life. It's very uh, graphic and very grotesque at times. So if you are faint of heart, I would not do it. Yeah. But if you lo- if you love it, though, which I do, you will laugh a lot. I still haven't watched the last season, so I gotta catch up. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Been working on that uh, fourth season for like the last four or five months. Hey, I don't, I don't want to fucking hear it, okay? Hey, 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 hey. This is something we bond over is Big Mouth. And you have not caught up. <laughs> I'm pointing at my screen even though you can't see it. Right at your little icon. Yeah, well, I can see your icon, so... It fits. Yeah. Yes, and no touchy. No touchy. I don't know where I found that from either. I think I just looked for an icon. I just found that. I'm like, I'm going to go with that. Uh, oh, my God. Fucking ads popping up on my fucking PC, dude. Stop. Leave me alone. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> go away. It's all that, all that hentai you've been watching. Hey. That's not for the laptop. That's for the PlayStation bigger screen it's it's called brother sister <laughs> you know, what's it is it about a brother sister crime fighting duo so they fuck it's about a brother and sister who fuck what they if, fuck each other any, before <laughs> anyone takes anything out of context this is a video on youtube <laughs> we're, not, we're not that far deep south thing no no or west, depending on what you you know you believe is west of us. But all right, how about we uh, <clears throat> what do you want to review first, sir? Do you want to review Chucky, or do you want to review the Silver Scream Two? Uh, let's go with Chucky. I got, I got a little bit more to say about that one, probably. Maybe. Okay, we'll see. Okay, okay. So there's going to be eight episodes. And it's 45 ish minutes long. So. Uh, it's an hour, including, you know, commercial breaks and whatnot. But I don't add that shit. <laughs> also, language. There will be f bombs. Yeah, Prepare so. Yourself. Apparently, they're allowed 10 f bombs per episode. I'm pretty sure they used all 10 in the first one. <laughs> it's per episode, though. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, the first episode, they used every single one of them. <laughs> Probably Ray was like, yep, I'm saying I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing it. Like, like, I, I like I said earlier, I do recommend watching the last two Chucky movies. Not the, not the remake. Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky. Because it's going to continue on from where Cult of Chucky left off. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if you're curious and you haven't seen the those movies, I would. You could still check it out. There's no. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to get. There's nothing that's going to confuse you about this. There's nothing confusing yet, compared to the movies. So if you haven't, if if you just know Chucky is a killer doll, episode one, you're right on track. Yes. Now, whenever they go into the shit that happens in Curse and Cult of Chucky, then well, then you might want to catch up with that one. Or they'll redo it and just explain it that way. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. But uh, what were your thoughts on it, sir? All right. Multiple thoughts. Thought number one. I think my cat just knocked on my trash can, that little bitch. All right. 
you, uh, you well, got you got silent, and I thought you I thought something had happened. I was thinking, oh, God damn it, not again. <laughs> no, no, I just I heard something fall behind me. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Um, so starting um, I thought, no. starting to think we should rename this podcast to the Technical Difficulty Podcast. Yeah, make fun of me. Uh, you'll have issues at some point. Hey, I have. <laughs> that's why yeah, we well, took a week off. No, that's because someone wanted to go to the spa and get his nails done. Hey. That's right. I know what you did. You, you take that back, you whore. <laughs> I invited you. You turned it down. Yeah, because I'm a manly man, and they didn't give facials. Got to have my pores done. You could have got a facial. I'm sure there was a guy there that would have helped you out with that. <laughs> Maybe so, but not that kind. <laughs> All right, so back to Chucky. So, multiple thoughts. It kind of starts off weird. If if you, um, you can, well, you'll follow me for a second. So lead the way. Uh, hack and hack and pack. Hack. What is it called? I, I'm drawing a blank on the fucking town name now. Hackensack? Hackensack, there we go. I was going to say Hack and Slash for some reason. That's the name of the podcast in the TV show. Mm-hmm. So, it starts off with some weird flashback to, like, a, a little person running up to a, you know, a woman in a mirror. And then it just goes straight to present day. And it, and it goes back to that at the end of the episode. And I feel like that's the weirdest fucking way to ever, like, start a, a series without having anything in the actual show to, like, give meaning to it. So, spoiler alert, um, we're going to dive deep into Chucky's backstory in this series, it seems like. Yeah, because, like, the, the, the little person in the uh, thing, it's revealed at the end of it that it's... Uh, Charles Lee Ray as a child before the the massacre that allegedly turned him into the murderer that he was, I guess. <laughs> that he was. That he was. But it, it was just so weird, I didn't like that. And then they just had like the transition straight into the doll being sold at a random ass uh, garage sale that the owner did not know he was even there, so where the fuck did he come from? If you pay attention, if you look closely, you can see uh, Tiffany, Jennifer Tilly's character, walking by. So, more than likely, she sat him there. Hmm. I did not notice that, actually. I didn't either. Uh, it was in the behind-the-scenes thing. Uh... At the end of the extended episode. Oh, okay. I didn't watch that. I didn't, I didn't even finish that. Like I was, Literally, I finished the episode right as soon as I need to hop in the shower for work. So I was like, click, 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 and go. But uh, the, ma- the main character of this series, unless there's going to be multiple, I don't know, is uh, Jake Wheeler. He's like, what, 14? I think they said in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, his dad is a... They gave a weird feeling for his dad. Like, the first time you see him, he seems kind of like a normal dad. You know, he's kind of supportive, but at the same time he thinks his son is wasting his life on his artsy bullshit thing that he does. And then later in the episode, he's just like an abusive drunk. Yeah, because he's, he's ashamed of his son, because his son is uh, gay. I actually think that he was ashamed by that. I think I think it was like multiple things. But uh, spoiler, we won't find out because he fucking died. Yep. It's the second kill in the episode. We're not going to talk about the first kill. The first kill had two two close to home. <laughs> actually, no. There's there was three kills, I guess, in the first episode. If you think about it. Oh yeah, the frog. Yeah, that's another thing. Who the fuck has ever had a science class where they had a live frog they dis- d- dissected? Who the fuck? Oh, like, I did it in high school. 
They were already fucking dead. Yeah. Also, I don't know a teacher that would tell another student to shut the fuck up and not get in trouble, but, you know. <laughs> but I don't... But, uh... Yeah. Hmm? I'm really anxious to see how the series goes and where it goes. And I, I have, like, two main things for the series. They better not fucking try to give a Chucky or a deeming story to where he turns to be a good guy. Because that's some bullshit. You do not do that, especially with a horror icon. Ever. Yeah. This whole backstory shit where I, I get the feeling they're going to try to go into, like, the, the actual murdering of his family. Don't fucking do it. Let him be a psycho murdering doll. Because that's what he's known for. And I get the weirdest feeling that he's, um, you have, so, what am I trying to say here, shit? It's like, after the dad dies at the ending of the episode, he goes to live with the rich brother, dad, uncle thing. <laughs> yeah, we're going real deep south, uncle, brother, dad, but, uh. And Jake's dad and uncle are played by the same person, Devin Sawa. From Final Destination films, for the first I film. I thought it was Michael Rooker. I really did. People can fight me about that. I thought it was Michael Rooker at first. Don't ask me why. I just he just had the facial like kind of deal. I, I didn't I see it. Was, Don't see it. Didn't I, I see did. it. I saw it when I saw it when he started talking. I knew it wasn't him because Michael Rooker don't talk like that. <laughs> Mary Poppins, and, y'all. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> Rest in peace, Yondu. R.I.P. But, uh, uh... You got the... He's gonna be living with his cousin, you know, the uncle and the aunt. The aunt has a secret. We found that out. She's got a little secret. We don't know what it is, but she's got a secret. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't think it's gonna be, like, a cheating secret or anything like that. I, I, that'll be too, like cliche it's always that's always what it is whenever you know the wife or whoever goes to you know has a secret phone call it's always like a lover or some shit Uh, like i want it to be something different and then they got uh junior don't know what his actual name is but they call him junior and he's the asshole cousin who's they're trying to build an asshole, but it's an asshole because of his girlfriend. Hello? Dave? Can you not hear me? Yeah, there you are. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> well, well I, don't, I don't know what you were saying at all. I what said, who's, she's the cliche bitch. Oh, uh, maybe, we'll see. No, no, she's. That's. She... Oh, are you talking about the girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the the, the wife. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear it, so I didn't know who you're talking about. Like... Yeah, that that one that that was some fucked shit she did, in that first part of the episode, or the mid part, I guess. Indeed, indeed. If anyone wants to know, she uh made a GoFundMe because the cousin, the main character, Jake, is, you know, seems like he's kind of poor. So she, made a, she made a public GoFundMe and people started, you know, making fun of him. Yeah. But she got hers. She did. And she will get hers later. She almost got got by Chucky as well. So, real talk. I... So I didn't watch the episode fully at first you know I went down I, I had it recorded at my parents house we went down there to uh, I went down there to watch it and have some food with them and my mom had already watched the first 30 minutes of it I had no idea so she turned it back on from that point from the moment they saw in the, at the lockers and forward so when it got to the point where Chucky was standing in front of the door with her there and it went to commercial 
I went to the kitchen to uh, wash my plate, put it away. And when I came back, it had the Michael Myers Chucky commercial with him just stabbing the shit out of the fucking pumpkin. And I had no idea what was going on. I was like, oh shit, he's fucking her up. And then it popped up as a fucking pumpkin. I'm like, oh. I was like, damn. Uh, what? Don't like it? <laughs> also, Lexi's into Pokemon porn. See? See? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I really like this episode. It's... I'm, de- I'm definitely going to give it a shot, and I really hope... This isn't going to be like a, a one or two season deal. I hope there it's like multiple seasons. Yeah. I, I, hope, anyway. I hope it leads into like another movie. That would be pretty good. Where you can how to, how, see Chucky with no limits. He didn't even seem like he didn't have any limits in this. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... Chucky X. <laughs> you kind of see him in fucking space with like a robot arm and fucking metallic all over him. Uh, Jennifer Tilly has said that Chucky's going to space at some point, so probably. In the series or in general? In general. Oh, okay. I, w- I will like to see more of her character because I know she was in Bride of Chucky and The Seed of Chucky. She was in Curse and Cult as well. Oh, well, she, oh, shit. And <clears throat> she'll show up. She will, she'll show up eventually. He's still a crazy bitch, though. Which makes no sense. So, we're gonna diverge off of that for a second. She was, like, a famous actress or something, right? In uh, Bride of Chucky. Or she was something famous, right? No, she was just Tiffany and Chucky. Really? What the fuck am I thinking of that? It was, like, Seed? famous. Maybe. She's Jennifer Tilly and Chucky. And she played Tiffany as well. So she was just like a normal girl, pretty much, like a normal person. And then she becomes psycho crazy bitch at some point. I'm like, what the fuck happened there exactly? <laughs> that was just weird. But maybe I need to rewatch them to get a better grasp on it. I'd say so. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is... I get, I, I give this three Chucky Chucky laughs. I give it four. Oh, I thought the highest we were going was three. Yeah, we're three. Misleading. <laughs> but uh, yeah. If you guys check it out, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It comes on your local Sci-Fi and USA Network at ten o'clock on it's... Tuesdays. Hopefully they'll release the rest of the episodes on YouTube because I do not have USA or uh, Sci-Fi. They should. I, I don't think they'd release the first one for no, uh, like the actual Sci-Fi Channel released it. So I, I, I'm sure they will. If they don't, I'll figure something out for you. I'll record it on my phone and send it to you. <laughs> Shitty quality, though, buddy. Uh. All right, so uh, let's get into the Silver Scream 2. Welcome to Horrorwood, bitches. Kind of sad they didn't say that at some point. I really enjoy this album. I did, yeah. But, uh, so, do you want to go off of all of the uh, songs on it? Uh, I can. We can. Just, like, I mean, like, list them off for, like, the people. I um. Yeah. So hold on a second. Let me get it pulled. I know up. that they were they released like five or yeah five, in like music videos for like the last few months, right? Yeah. On the ninth of every month, they put out a music video. And then, you know, they put out the four. 15th. Oh, they put out four. I thought it was five. Fuck so yeah, hip know. hip to be scared, assault and batteries. Rainy Day and Funeral Day Arrangements. Okay. 
By the way, in case no one's figured it out, these are all horror movie related. Yes, songs. the every the last two albums, this one and the one before it, which was just the Silver Scream, were all songs based off horror movies. Silver Scream had a, uh, quite a few good songs on there that I loved. I loved to listen to like Stabbing in the Dark, which was like Friday Thirteenth, um, American no. Nightmare. No, 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 no. no. No, no, I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. Stabbing in the dark was Halloween. Mm -hmm. Thank God it's Friday. It was Friday the 13th. Don't ask me why I said that that way. American Nightmare was uh, Nightmare on M Street. It is, or I can't remember what it was exactly called, but that was like it. It is the end. It is the end. There we go. Uh, Don't Rock the Boat was Jaws. Mary Xmas was Silent Night, Deadly Night. Savages was something. Text Chainsaw Massacre. Was it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we're supposed to be getting a, a new movie dropping on Netflix sometime this year. Hopefully at some time this month. At it I don't think it will be, buddy. They didn't they didn't release any information on it during the preview at the beginning of or, or before this month technically, so I think it's going to be some random ass Halloween horror movie dropped in the middle of fucking December again. We'll see. It could be a surprise. Mm -mm. I don't trust Netflix for surprises. I barely trust Netflix to begin with. But uh, going back to Silver Screen Part 2, so. What were your favorite songs, sir? Alright, so I'm going to top off the. If so this is a random thought before I get into that have you ever noticed when you see a song you're like I think this song's gonna be shit I don't really want to listen to it so you listen to it last and it always turns out to probably be one of the best ones on the fucking track or is it just me uh I, I give everything a fair shot so I think it's just you <laughs> probably I don't know I look at the tight like the titles of songs and I'm like okay this one sounds like it could be like heavy or it'll be soft like so I don't really want to listen to that but like so my favorite ones on here were ones that I didn't think I was gonna fucking like at all so Ex Mortis Fly Farewell to Flesh um uh The Box and uh and we'll go into which horror yeah. movies go to which song I th so I know what, I know what one of them the uh the fuck a rash decision is because I, when I was looking at the lyric video for it, it was in the comments, so I know what that one is now. Mm -hmm. And Worst Vacation. Worst, worst Vacation was really good. I don't know what that one is still. Well, we'll go into it, sir. So, oh, yeah. the album opens up with uh, Opening Night. It, it's a guy talking, saying that the following 13 tracks are deemed, you know, unacceptable by the American Recording Association. And they were opened up into evidence by the Los, Los Angeles Police Department. It's playing on the, mu the music videos. Yeah. So all the music videos, even though they're different songs, they all have an underlying storyline that links them all together. They make a movie. Yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I don't know how the fuck zombies got factored into that because I didn't watch that music video, but... <laughs> Then you got Welcome to Horrorwood, which is an original song. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. And you got A Rash Decision. That's, Rash Decision. Mm -hmm. That is based off the movie Cabin Fever. Not, so, I'll, I'll be completely honest. I never, I haven't seen Cabin Fever. Shocker, I know. The, but that <laughs> that's not, I thought it was about something completely different than what uh, I found out it is. <laughs> be completely honest all right continue then you go into assault and batteries which is chucky child's play chucky yes surprising then the shower scene psycho because mm -hmm. everybody knows what the shower scene is if you don't i feel sorry for you unless you're talking about browser sh shower scenes in which case different thing okay moving on uh <laughs> 
We go into funeral de arrangements, which is Pet, Pet Cemetery. Cemetery. Good song, good visual, good music video came out for that. It had a good chorus. I liked it. Yes. The remake, Pet Cemetery. Yeah. Still haven't seen it. <clears throat> Let me go into Rainy Day, which is Resident Evil. I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that this is on there. Yeah, I don't. I I didn't think that would be a. Would that even really be clear, classified as a horror movie though? I figured it was more like action-ish kind of deal, but. Uh, still, I like the song. It's good. It's got a different feel to it. And you got Ben's favorite, "Hip to Be Scared." Which is yeah. American Psycho. Two psychos. And you got Take Your Pick, which is featuring uh, the lead singer from Cannibal Corpse. Corpse mm-hmm. Grinder, which is Take Your Pick, the name of the song, based off My Bloody Valentine. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know which one they're basing it off of. The, Just in general. The original or the... That one. That one's really heavy if you like really heavy music mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you go into the box Hellraiser which Hellraiser which Dave currently or just now finished watching like a month ago good shit or some shit yeah good shit good course on that one too mm-hmm. and you got Fly hell yeah Jeff Goldblum the Fly of course and worst vacation. Now this is the one that's been stumping Ben. He doesn't know what it is. I don't. It's annoying. What is it? Hostel. Oh yeah. So I actually looked that one up too, and I forgot it. <laughs> have you... I actually looked it up when I was at work. Be- before we move on, have you seen Hostel? Moving on. Okay, then we got Ex Mortis, which is the Evil Dead. Still haven't finished all those. Hmm? Still haven't finished all those. Slipping. Uh, I fell many years ago, Dave. Continue. I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Then we got the last song on the album, which is Farewell to Flesh, Candyman. Hell yeah. That one. That one. So a few of these songs will have, like, a lot of nods or saying the name of the movie in the actual track. And Farewell to Flesh, I like the first time I hear a song, I don't hear like every word exactly. I kind of feel the vibe of the song, just keep rolling with it. But at one point, I think it was midway through the song, I'm like, hmm, if I don't know what this could be, but I feel like this would be a great song for Candyman. And then I looked at the lyric videos, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh shit, I was right, cool. I will say my favorite song off the album so far is the shower scene. I've listened to this song probably fucking 30, 40 times today while we were at work. I shit you not, people. I think I saw him doing the shower scene stabbing motion at one point. I didn't think anybody. I really didn't think anybody was watching me. I watch always. Then you got. After that, I would say the box. I'm listing all the ones that, all the ones that are not music videos that we haven't heard yet. I'm surprised they didn't make some music. Like I feel like a couple of them would have like a really good music video. Oh, they, they just they'll be the at the end of the last music video. It said to be continued, so we'll at least get one more. Mm-hmm. Then you got Ex Mortis. I like that one because I like yeah, hell yeah. I like the Evil Dead. Ironic that I haven't finished Evil Dead, and I'm not a uh, so I know it's a classic. And I know I'm gonna get some hate, and it's a good movie, it really is. But after like I never watched it when it first came out, where I would actually get drawn into it. I've watched it like two three months ago. When well by now I've been corrupted by modern CGI, where everything looks a million times better. So when you watch it, you just see the gloves come out of, like, shit. It's kind of, like, comedic. But it's, it's still a really good movie. 
Well, uh, I will say, sir, um, you wouldn't have, you weren't around when it came out. Neither was I. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Like when it was, like back when it was like popular. Because I feel like around like mid '90s, that shit was like really popular. Eh. Mid '90s to like early 2000s. Because I swear it came on TV a lot. I just you know, as a kid, you try to turn it on and. Your parent will be like, no, 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 watch that. I still fucking remember when I was like 10 or less, I can't remember. I was sitting in the living room. My mom was in her bedroom watching TV. And I looked and I'm like, ooh, Saw. What is this about? I think this is a horror movie. Let me, pop, let me watch this. And she walked in and like snatched the fucking remote and said, nope, too young to watch. I was like, god damn it. <laughs> but yeah. Um,. I was gonna give the album a rating. I would give it a a nine point five out of ten. I'm gonna give it probably a nine. And I only give it that rating because I wish there was more to it, like more songs. <laughs> all, all in all, they're all really good. Like I know. They're not the kind of band I would listen to on a daily basis. For just the way, like, kind of the band they are. I don't know, how, how would you exactly describe their type of music exactly? Because when I try to explain it, you got offended. So it's uh, metalcore music. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of metalcore anything. But this band seems to like have a really good mix on this album of like had to like balance it with everything else. Let me just say it that way. Good shit. Dave's Dave scratching his head trying to figure out what the fuck is he saying. Good shit. Good shit, right, Maroki? Oh the fuck what was that? What? It sounded like you were picking something up or you were straining yourself. What were you doing? I was moving my chair back. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, that's, um... Uh, the bigger question is, do you think there'll be a part three to this? I hope so. And if they do, Leprechaun better be on fucking one of them. The <laughs> saying. God damn it. Favorite. One of my favorite fucking... Mo- horror movie franchises is the Leprechaun uh, speak, I've been waiting speaking of that last podcast I said I was going to watch that when we stopped recording he did not hey I I attempted to but Peacock is shit <laughs> yes it, I, know, I know the feeling it gave me an ad and then played the movie for like t- two ten seconds and then played another ad and then kicked me out completely I was like, fuck this. Yeah. I, I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with Peacock's shit. I know r- wrestling fans seem to fucking hate it because Peacock, like, it's pay-per-view shit never works right. Eh. I ain't paying for that shit, so. <laughs> and hopefully next week we'll be able to talk about Halloween Kills. And, you know, I know what you did last uh, summer. I'll, I'll at least watch the first episode. I think, we'll, I don't know if we'll this is... Talk. Huh? I said, we'll give a little talky-talk about it. Let's see, um... I, from, I don't know if it's going to be like more like the movie or more like the book. Cause the, probably the book. I don't think the movie was anything like the book. It, it, it's probably going to be like a, a more faithful... Um, recreation of the book. Honestly, that's what. Whenever they remake something, that's always what they go for. But uh, hello. hello? Okay. Yep. Weird pop in my ear. It's weird. Making sure. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, that's all we had to talk about, really. Uh, no, it is not. Is it not? No. We gotta promote. 
what are you we? bad at promoting? So, in case no one, you know, everyone forgot, we have a Discord, and we actually got our first brand new Discord member follower thing person. I don't know how you want to describe that, but you're more than welcome to come to our Discord, talk to us, call us mean names. I know they did hurt my feelings a little bit. You know who you are. You will you will be listening to this at some point. <laughs> That's why I haven't talked to you yet, and not because I don't know what to say. <laughs> but please join the Discord. Come talk to us. Give us ideas what we what you want to talk about, or just say that we're dumb for our opinions. Why not? That's what the internet's for. Yeah. Who knows, eventually you could end up on the podcast with us. Yeah, we will be taking guests at some point. Uh, We're going to have a... We might do a separate episode away from Spooktober to have our buddy Bryce on for uh, this month. You'll find out why when we do it, so... Yeah. Uh, also, I still have that fucking hot one chip, the the <laughs> the, lot, the chip thing. I feel like I'm gonna have to just kind of bite the bullet and just do that because I I spent seven fucking dollars on that shit, man. Y'all ain't gonna y- y'all don't want to see me in pain or hear me cry or whatever. You set the bar mighty high when you made the challenge. Well, I believed in our listeners. I believed in them. They didn't believe in themselves clearly, but I believed that they could get us to that height. But, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to bite the bullet and just, I think maybe next podcast I'll do it. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know how good that thing is going to last. I'm kind of scared it might grow feet and start walking away. So, we'll find out. Yeah. We shall. But, uh, that's, uh, that's the cast, guys. Is it? Is it the cast? I mean, do you have more to talk about? All right, everybody. So uh, that's going to do it for this week. Hope you enjoyed if you made it this far. If you did Enjoyed the ramblings of two people that are very dumb. weirdly made. Dumb. And, uh, intelligent and adjacent. Worthless. Me. <laughs> Angry. Me. But uh, like Ben said, guys, join the Discord. Talk to us. We'll talk back. Well, at least I will. I'll. We'll see. Ben will get Ben will get angry, and why am I getting so many notifications? Do it. Do it I, just to piss him off. Yeah, it really makes me mad. Actually, the dis- the other Discord we're in is actually starting to annoy me a little bit. I'm about to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't leave you guys though, because y'all are our fan base. Indeed, indeed. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed. There's a certain, Make sure you're watching horror movies. There's a certain percentage of you guys that are watching the videos that aren't subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit that, you are. Hit that bell so you're notified when the new, new podcast comes out. comes out every Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, which would be, I don't know what that would be. Pacific time. Seven in the morning. Or, no, seven. Seven? It's like four hours difference, I think. It's like three, I think. Three? Mm. It's earlier in the fucking morning, guys. Yeah. So listen to it when you wake up. Listen to it on your daily drive to your shitty job. Or unless you really like your job. Okay, good for you. We don't. So. Hmm. Yeah. Give it a listen. You'll you'll grow to love us. You know, like the fungus that you can't get rid of. Yes. <laughs> Davis scowling because I just said that. Put mm. that podcast fungus. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, take it easy. I'm Dave. I'm Ben. This has been the Worthless Ones podcast, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Yeah. Can't really see them. They'll, they'll hear us, but, you know. <sighs> you son of a bitch. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.